Same thing. Hey, they had to pay attention to detail, you know? <laughs> Use R1 when you see those floating things. Super important. Sadly, a classic. Chicago, Illinois. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Mine hasn't been too bad myself. Uh, dude. I... <laughs> I am just so mad that, I mean, playing two sports games aren't, you know, isn't that uncommon for us at this point, but, I mean, we're getting through them. We're getting through them at least, but no, as soon as the game turns on, man, um, a, a song by Atreyu comes on, and I was just like, dude, the worst part about playing sports games on stream is the fact that we have to mute <laughs> the music on them, because that's the best part about these games for someone like me that's not into sports. At least I get to listen to some pretty decent music, man. But then we got to mute it entirely. So, like, fuck. Speaking of that, though, I decided to play a little bit of Rock Band 4 last night. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm a big uh, Rock Band fan. Anyways, I went back through to download all of my music from, you know, throughout the, the years that I've been playing it. And, uh, oh my god, they do not make it easy, man. Like, there should just be a button on Rock Band to download all DLC or on the PlayStation slash, slash Xbox or whatever. You know, you should be able to just select the game and then select download all owned DLC. Like, why is that? Why is that not a thing? Like in Steam, you can just right click a game and it'll show you all of the DLC that you own for. And then you can just click a little checkbox on each one. So having something like that would be perfect, honestly, you know, on, on console because I own like it's not a ton compared to other people, but it's like 280 songs or something like that of DLC for Rock Band. And there's just no good way to, to download it all, you know? You have to go one by one. I had to go through all 3,000 songs there are or whatever, and then just, just click on each one that I uh, that I owned. And it's like, man, it's, <laughs> it's killing me. Killing me, man. But we got there in the end, so... Guess we're going up against the Berlin Thunders as Tampa Bay All Bucks. I don't. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, that's All Star. I did that on purpose because we're going to need all the help we can get. But, ugh. Ugh. Fuck me, dude. So far, you'd say the art style is interesting. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of gameplay of uh, my time at Porsche before. And uh, it looks good. And I, I do honestly think that I would enjoy it, too, if I if I ever gave it a try. It's been on my list of something that I want to try for hmm, quite a while. Just never got around to it. Your worst fear for stubbing your toe happened? How? What? <laughs> what is your worst fear for stubbing your toe? Did you, like, is your toe gone? Because, like, that would be my worst fear for stubbing my toes. I just look down and it's gone. <laughs> like, there is no toe anymore. Blood? Okay. I mean, that sucks. Don't get me wrong. That had to hurt like a bitch. But uh, at least your toe's still there, right? Heads or tails? I don't know. Uh, good. It just moves on its own and stop. I don't know what we picked, but it looks like we won. <laughs> um, you know what? Why don't we start with defend going that way? I don't know. Both teams have taken the field, and let's see what happens. Uh, kick off middle. I'm assuming this plays pretty much like all the other ones, so... Wait, what? What? How does... Oh. Okay. Press the directional buttons or move the left analog stick to set up the kick direction. Pull down on the right analog stick to start power and accuracy meter. Push forward when the desired power does reach. Okay... Okay, so that's a thing that that happened. I don't know. <laughs> Why, whatever happened to just pressing X to kick, man? I need you to make it easy on me, bro. I'm stupid. I did notice. I mean, I doubt we'll really mess around with it all. But I did notice at the very least this uh, this iteration of Madden NFL has a bunch of like mini games and other game modes and stuff to do which honestly if i was into sports games i would really appreciate yeah boy take them down my time at porsche seems extremely like stardew with the entry just finished downloading and furring it up 
<laughs> I just imagine you downloading a bunch of uh, mods so that everyone's a furry. <laughs> because you said furring it up. <laughs> That's one way to play the game. <laughs> Get everyone in their fur suits, man. Get him! Get him! I don't know how to switch characters in this game. I don't... Wait. Still second down. Okay. I don't know what happened. Honestly. Uh... <laughs> how do we switch character? Oh, okay. It is X. It just didn't put me, like, closest to the ball. Like, I feel like the other ones normally do. Out of fucking bounds, you bastards. Firing it up. Oh, I know what you meant, but it was much funnier when it <laughs> when it said furring it up, man. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside. Oh, uh, I did enable one option for the game other than putting it on easy mode. Uh, accelerated clock. I don't know if that makes, like, the turns shorter, like the rounds shorter or what, but... But I figured why not. Holy crap. Yeah, no, that that went way down, like, real quick. So it's like, it, instead of, okay, what? <laughs> How does that actually work? Like, it counted down really quick, but it only from, like, 30 to, like, 10 or something like that, or 15 or, or something along those lines. I don't know what the run button is or anything. R1? Might be R1. That would make sense. Ask Madden, let's go. You click the light switch to change. Got to get up, everyone. Give me a sec. <laughs> Got to walk over to the wall every time I want to change my character. Uh, okay, no, that's select slide protection. I don't know what that means. Uh, cancel. Oh, shit. It was a fake. We were faking. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how that worked. That should not have worked. We should not have made that touchdown. <laughs> I thought we were actually doing a pass. That fucking play, uh, uh, fucking tricked me, dude. Okay, so this works the same as last time. That's fine. That should be good. Yeah. Kick is good. Let's go, dude. Get that extra point. Look, I mean, we're already one minute in, so whatever that accelerated clock option was, I think it's, I think it's helping. I, I don't care about your sponsorship deal with fucking Sprint there, my guy. So what's the fucking Sprint button? Is it just X? It might just be X. They don't want to fall out of contention early. So they'll be looking to put together some kind of scoring drive on this position. I noticed whenever I press like L2 and R2, I like stuck my arm out. So that might be like a stiff arm thing or something. You learned something? What'd you learn? And you're heckin' proud? You should be, man. I mean, I guess it depends kind of on what you learned, you know? If you learn your ABCs, I'm going to be a lot less impressed than, like, <laughs> than <laughs> just, you know. You learn how to do laundry. Hell yeah, dude. You're Dalton so good. <laughs> yeah, so, like, whenever we're picking our play, it just automatically counts down a, a bit of it, like... She would never let you, but she finally did. Why would she never let you? See, when I was a teenager, my grandpa basically made me <laughs> do the laundry. I didn't really have a choice. It was like... <laughs> oh, everyone's raised differently, of course. But, yeah, no. For me, that was like... Uh, that was a necessity. Of course, my grandpa was also a uh, disabled man. So, like, once the game starts, can we not change our character? Uh, I guess we're doing cover one robber. Just throw it in, had some soap and push button. The type of soap is very important, though. <laughs> like, you can't just put in a bunch of, let's say, dish soap. That'll end very poorly. Very poorly. Do not do that. I like buttons. I feel that 
I feel that in my soul. She really doesn't like it when you mess with the kitchen or the washing machine and dryer. That's her area. And if we make a mess, she yells a lot. You see, I was allowed to, uh, I was allowed and encouraged both to cook and to, uh, well, like I said, basically forced to do the laundry. For <laughs> uh. the end of the first quarter already, that actually sped things up a lot. Total opposite for you? Yeah, see, I can't even imagine, man. That's crazy. Like, when I was little, little, I don't think I ever did the laundry, but, yeah, by the time I was, like, I don't know, 12, 13, right around there, that was a, that punt, what was that? Holy hell, dude. So where does that put us? Since the, the kick just went right out of bounds, like, all that, is that just where the ball was? We just get to stay there? Like, right on their side? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, dude, these guys suck. Like, I know I'm playing an all-star team versus a, a middling team, but holy hell. Definitely dish soap and the extra sudsy bubble bath soap. Yeah, dude. You really want to get yelled at for making a mess? Try doing that the next time she lets you do, uh, she lets you do, uh, not dishes, fucking the laundry, man. There will be soap everywhere your entire home will be filled with nothing but soap that was bad wow no thank you i choose life <laughs> oh god down in my kitchen or something hot might find you and i'll flail while holding large knives it's very unsafe so that sounds like a good show i'll just watch you cook from a distance like i don't want to be anywhere near you when all that goes down but I'll gladly, you know, like, sit in the, the dining room watching you flailing things around. I imagine the knives being the hot thing for some reason, like, and you're flailing them around because you're burning your old hand, your own hand. Like, maybe you sat them on the stove and weren't paying attention, and then you're like, oh shit, and grabbed it, and now you're flailing it around because it's so fucking hot. The, the feel that I'm getting from that. What was up with that random slowdown there? <laughs> things get cooked, or... Things get cut and everything gets cooked. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's great. Yeah, I guess it also depends on, like, how particular your family is about laundry, right? Like, for me, it's literally, for me, it's just throw everything. I don't care about, like, separating colors and delicates and all that shit. I just throw everything in the damn washing machine. Put in a scoop of soap and hit go. Like, I, I'm one of those people. I also don't like, um, like, softener and all that shit. Like, I'm not into any of that. Interception! Let's go, boy! Let's go! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? Dude, look. Again, I know we asked for easy mode here, but holy hell. Maybe, are, are we actually getting good at sports games? Tokens five? Wait, what? What are the tokens for? Let's go. Story time? I'm hoping it's your story because I don't have any good stories right now. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. This one is taken. I thought, <laughs> I saw that I was kicking it too softly, so I was like, maybe if I just let it, you know, go, it'll go back to the top, and then I can push it forward. Nope. You got it. You got to go for it, man. No second tries. You're we buttering toast in the kitchen, buttering it. Your dad walks up and just firmly grasps a toaster. <laughs> Why would you just grab the toaster like that, though? Like, what what purpose does grabbing the toaster serve? That's the part that confuses me more than anything. Like, I only ever move... Because our, our counters are, aren't that deep, right? And we don't have a whole lot of counter space. So we kind of have to share our counter space sometimes with, 
you know, other things like our stand mixer or something like that or, or our air fryer, let's say, right? So, like, sometimes we have to turn our toaster to properly get everything else to fit on the counter whenever we're using it. But that's the only time I even touch my toaster. Now, I'm either, I'm, I'm either toasting something, cooking. Oh, shit. I, I completely messed that up. Um, yeah, toasting something need the counter space or cleaning it like that's the only time i ever touch the toaster why why do you just walk into the kitchen and grab the toaster <laughs> what, what the hell nothing happening for the offense they're forced into a three and out off the side of his oh my god again this one goes out of bounds these dudes need a new punter man guy can't kick for shit your kicker does do the punts in, in a football game right like, so you have a dedicated person just for kicking and they can't kick it downfield ever? That was a bad throw. I should not have caught that. Honestly, I think the game took pity on me. That was that was actual trash. Two-minute warning. I don't care about the two-minute warning. I hate when it does that because it cancels, like, whatever play you're doing and shit. Like, just let us continue the game, man. Just You can pop something up on TV or, or on TV, on the screen or whatever. I mean, I think we got some yards. Uh, no huddle spike ball? What's the spike ball option? You just, like, spike it onto the ground? Oh, yeah, that right there with all the little symbols, that confused the hell out of me. One of the things in the... In the settings that I, or in the, like, extra screen that I saw or whatever, was, um, player weapons, and I was like, hold on, <laughs> are we suddenly playing, like, a street version of fucking Madden or something like that? What do we got weapons for, man? Let's go, dude! Touchdowns for days. You better kick it here. Well, with as quickly as this game's going, maybe we will get to check out some of the mini games and things. I imagine it'll be stuff that we don't really care about as, you know, non-sports people. Stuff like, uh, I don't know, freaking, like, throwing the ball through through the hoops and things and, I don't know, kicking the ball really far or something. Oh, God, shut up. I don't care. Sprint. Sprint doesn't even exist anymore. Go away. This one is taken by number 84. Oh, my God. My vacation starts today, dude, and I am so excited for it, to be honest. Well, okay, today was my last day I had to actually go in to work. Right. I'm still going to be streaming on Twitch. I'm not I'm not switching that up until next week. But yeah, vacation from like my real job. Yeah. Pressure. Long throw. Oh, dude, we had that. That should have been in my hand. I know, dude. I'm so excited. Yes, today. Because it wasn't meant to start until Thursday, technically. But I'm off on Wednesdays normally anyways right so yeah <laughs> so i have tomorrow off just because coincidence uh you know and then thursday's when my vacation actually starts and then i got an extra day on my vacation too kind of because i i used to be off on saturdays as you guys might remember so i requested that saturday off just so they because like sometimes when you take vacation where i work they fuck up your schedule so i requested the uh the the saturday off um, not this coming Saturday, but the next one, just to be on the safe side so that they wouldn't screw it up. But then they changed my schedule, so I don't work Saturdays anymore. So now I, I kind of have an extra day. That does mean my pay is going to be a little bit short, though, which kind of hurts. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to make that up at some point. I did tell them I would work that Monday if they wanted me to, but um, my manager didn't seem to really care, so... Yours doesn't start till the 10th? I know. But that's like... Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I always show you, like, uh, Noodle, I always, anytime I request a vacation, I send them to Noodle so they know, like, when my vacations are, but Noodle has the hardest time getting any vacations approved. It's not their fault, of course, but 
Yeah. It's rough. Why is there a ball just chilling on the ground there? I think we got a graphical glitch or something. Yeah, can you guys see it? Like top right hand corner, near the uh, the line of the 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 down line or whatever the hell it's called. Should be better next year. I hope so. Right here, where my character is, right now, right there. Like, <laughs> there's just an extra ball chilling on the field, man. Game's fucking bug, dude. <laughs> can we just pick up that ball and run down to the touchdown? Does that work? What would they do if there's two balls suddenly appeared on the on the field? Oh, bruh. Bruh! Are you serious? That's crazy! Hey, good on them. Good on them. Because in the cover two, you just can't let the receivers get behind you if you're the safety. You always have to be deeper than the deepest. That's fucking, dude. Honestly, like, I know there are enemy or whatever you want to call it, right? But, like, they did good. That was a good play. Sent me a bunch of texts. Oh, I've, I've been reading them every now and then. Yeah, we'll talk more, you know, later. <laughs> If it does exploit it, yes, dude. Take all the vacations, honestly. Like, as long as you can afford to do so, take your freaking vacations, man. Especially if they're paid vacations, fight for those things. You earned them, you should take them. I don't care if your company pays them out at the end of the year or whatever the case may be. Take a break. Spend time with your friends, your family, or just take time for yourself or whatever, dude. You're only in this world once, man. Don't spend it all at work if you don't have to. It's actually a player who pissed off a ref, but the ref is from Hogwarts. <laughs> that's the that's the football game I want to play, man. <laughs> Where the refs are all wizards and they'll just fucking curse you if you do anything wrong. Okay, yeah, we got nothing there. People get paid vacations. Believe it or not, I get paid vacations. I used to get twice as much as I get now, but uh. Yeah, they changed the way vacations work now, where I work, and it's it's stupid. We get paid sick leave, which is nice, but let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, these guys are screwed. I'm still not even positive how to sprint. I've just been holding X and hoping for the, the best, like, paid vacay up to two weeks. That's awesome, man. I mean, honestly, two weeks, three. that's Number nice three. compared to a lot of places, but, like, you should get more than that, just to be yeah, frank. Like, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Six weeks, that's, like, that's honestly, like, a perfect amount, in my opinion, you know? That way you can take, like, for me, I try to take a vacation approximately once every every three to four months, you know? Like, four vacations a year, I feel like, is a, is a pretty decent amount. Um, that's, for me, that's like enough time after about two months, you know, I'm a little burnt out, honestly, but I can push through to about three or four, but any more than that. And it's just, it's getting to be too much. So like six weeks would be perfect, you know, cause you could do that like one every, every three months or whatever. Um, and then if like something happens, say someone in your family gets really sick or something like that, then you would have extra time that you could you could take like it's less about where i work and more about how long i've been there and the fact that i um am not only or that i used to be a manager there as well um so i get some extra benefits compared to other people thankfully resume game yeah halftime don't care kind of surprised it didn't uh try to do some sort of halftime show thing i feel like the other madden games did that bro is that going out of bounds again this is kicker sucks man <laughs> i don't know what team this is but they need a new damn kicker new has three weeks we've been there for nine years just got full time last year yeah that's a i feel like a lot of businesses kind of work on that sort of thing too right where like if you're part-time you get fuck all but if you're full-time you actually get you know real benefits like like paid time off 
Like I get, I see all the time, you know, like little uh, surveys where I work asking like, what what would make working here better? And it, it's always stuff like, you know, better work environment, better equipment, et cetera, et cetera. Every single time I just pick more pay time off. Like just <laughs> give us more time that we don't have to be here. <laughs> but can still pay our bills. That's the number one thing that I would want, man. But no, I do feel bad for, like, some of the people that, um... Like, I had this one buddy. He doesn't work there anymore, but he worked there for uh, about almost two years. And uh, he hardly got any, like, paid sick days or anything like that compared to, compared to everyone else because he's only he was only part-time. So, like... Whereas for me, I have to work, I don't remember exactly how many hours, so I'm just going to make it up. Let's say I have to work, you know, uh, 200 hours to get to get one paid sick day off or something like that, right? For him, it was almost double that, and I'm like, bro, that, that sucks, you know? You better kick it here. It's rough. We'll tie it in Nabisco and they give you a company car. You're kidding, right? There's no way. That's gotta be, you gotta be exaggerating on me, bro. They give you a company car? I mean, with Nabisco, don't you have to, like, drive around to different places? So I guess maybe it's for that, but still, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, to do a dang video thing today on your day off for five hours and get another one three hours tomorrow on your other day off? Yeah, no, that's literally illegal. Like, if they're not paying you for that time, that's literally illegal. Unless you're a salaried person, like, they have to pay you for everything that you do for the company. Like, technically, if they call you and ask you a question that's work-related, they, they're supposed to pay you for that. Like, not, not questions like, hey, can you come into work or whatever, but questions like, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, you're the one that always runs the printer in the office. How do we fix the printer or whatever? You know, shit like that. That's also one of the reasons why I would never take a salaried position unless, like, like they would have to be paying some killer money, you know? <laughs> like, because, yeah, no, fuck that. And I know, like where where I work at. Um, whenever I was a, a manager, I was a I was an hourly manager, and uh, they talked about you know, hey, do you want to move up? Or what do you want to do in the future? Blah 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 blah. And I compared my paycheck to a salaried manager paycheck, and he got paid more than me, of course. Um, but hourly rate, he was getting paid less than me because he freaking worked like 60 plus hours a week right like 60 was the minimum that he would work a week whereas i was only working 40 so like nah i'll pass on that you know i think i think i'm good on the whole <laughs> moving up to salary thing it's not worth the the tiny bit extra money plus all the extra stress and bs you got to deal with and all that nah man i worked at burger king they did some seriously illegal shit that i should have reported and tried to fire you twice yeah dude there's a lot of really shady business practices out there honestly like you will be getting paid okay that's that's what's important to me still shitty that they told you on such short notice that reminds me of a time in the middle of winter right and the roads were terrible um and they they called me i wasn't on the schedule and they called me at like nine in the morning and said you better be here today and it's like uh okay first off i planned on being here today how are we making this touchdown right now anyways uh, they called me and said, hey, you better be in today. So I, you know, wake up, answer, call them back, and I basically just tell them off. I'm like, I planned on fucking being there anyways, but you can't just call me at 9 in the morning telling me that I need to be in in two hours um, for a shift whenever I can't even get my fucking car onto the main roads because my road has not been cleared after the foot and a half of fucking snow we got two days ago. Like, I can't move. If I didn't already have a ride lined up to bring me to work today, I wouldn't be able to go. And they're like, well, 
the big manager, he's the one that wanted you to do it. It, it wasn't me, blah, blah, blah. I said, I don't care who fucking said it. You do not call someone at 2 o'clock in the... Not 2 o'clock in the morning. At 2 to 3 hours before a shift telling them that they have to be in there. No excuses. Like, that's not how that works. And for another thing, I know the policy at where I work. And they literally cannot do that. I could have, if I wanted to start a fight, told them to fuck off and not went in. And they couldn't have done a damn thing about it. Like, best case scenario, nothing happens for them. Best case scenario for me, they would have had to pay me for that time, even though I didn't go in. Like, I was so mad that day, dude. So freaking mad that day. I didn't really like that person that called me anyways. Like, me and them just didn't, didn't get along too well, honestly. It's all right. They left that position. Somebody else is in there now who has their own problems, but I feel like actually tries, though. So I, I like them a lot more, honestly. I was really worried whenever uh, it was the HR manager. So, like, I, I was really worried whenever they first got the HR manager position that uh, the new person that, like, they weren't going to be great, you know, because I had some interesting conversations with them previously about things. And, uh... They were kind of hoity-hoity, better-than-thou, power-trippy at the time. But I don't know if, like, someone else was riding their ass. Or I don't know what was wrong with them at that point in time. But uh, since they've gotten this position, they haven't seemed to have been all that bad, honestly. Like, So they actually try to do their job and, and kind of care to some degree. So, yeah. Pretty happy about that. So far, at least. There's still time to get on my shit list. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, they kicked a punt and it didn't go straight out of bounds, man. Let's go. I just want to give a moment and clap for that guy. You know, the kicker, he, he made a kick that actually went down the field. I'm proud of him. That's improvement, man. That should be all your speed receiver needs. No, no one can be at the top of their game all their time, all the time. But uh, he's trying. He's trying. He's doing good work. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I don't even think I actually went over the line. That's why we need to be playing that Sega Sports one there or whatever. I'm pretty sure they would call a. Uh, I don't know a, a check on that. I don't know what the actual wording is. And it's six a review on that. I don't think I could pass the the touchdown line, honestly, but it's fine. They don't they don't need to know that. <laughs> the extra point attempt is good. Again, I I really did like that about the Sega Sports game though that we played the Sega football game. Um, the EA not EA. What the hell was it? ESPN football or whatever it was called. Like it was cool that they actually did things like that, you know? Because all of the Madden games I played, they never do. I'm sure if you turned it on, like, the higher difficulty or something, maybe they would include this stuff like that, but it adds extra complexity to the game. Another layer. Which I would have to imagine, you know, actual football fans would, would enjoy. Yay games challenge everything. <laughs> See, for me, it's, uh, it's in the game. That's the one that always gets stuck in my head. EA Sports. It's in the game. What are we in? Are we in the third down or third third inning? Nope, this isn't this isn't baseball. Not yet. We'll be doing that later. Uh, third third quarter. That's what it is. Hey guys, guys! I actually need your help. Nate, uh, Noodle, you wouldn't know. Uh, Silence, I don't know. Maybe you would know. Rue, anyone else who's out there? I need some good podcast uh, suggestions because I'm I'm I was listening to two podcasts at work today, and uh, that's kind of my plan for the future is to listen to podcasts while I'm while I'm doing stuff at work. Uh, and I just, I need suggestions of ones to listen to. I've been listening to Thumb Cramps today, which is a video game review podcast that I uh, enjoy. Um, and then I'm subscribed to like a couple of D&D ones and things like that. I'm mostly interested 
in like nerd stuff, but I'm I'm willing to branch out and try so some other other things. Dash traceables by Mark Wade and Bob. What's it about? The traceables. I'll look it up either way, but what's it about? Give me give me the elevator pitch, you know? Scrubby? Same thing. Gotta give me you gotta give me the, the pitch, man. D D Dads is one if I remember right. D D Dads, dude. That sounds like one that I don't even need the elevator pitch for that one. Like, it's all in the name, dude. D D Dads, let's go. Give me that D D Dad. <laughs> But what is Scrubby? What is Distraceable? That's uh, another one that I actually haven't listened to yet, but I'm subscribed to that I want to give a, a listen to one of these days. Is D and D is for nerds? Critical Role, of course. Um, there's a, there's another one. Everything VR. Is that that's the the name of a podcast? Bro, these guys these guys can't do shit. Holy hell. You might need to put them in the Discord so he can remember. This is true. This is true. Uh, you can DM me or throw them in the Discord, whatever. That's uh, yeah. That's a <laughs> that's a, that's a good call out, Noodle. Distractable, sorry. And it's Markiplier and his two friends telling really funny stories like how Bob had the worst fridge delivery. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> oh. All right then. I mean, I'll, I'll like I said, I'll check it out. If you if you link it or or even just put the name in Discord, I'll uh, I'll check it out. Also, I prefer for it to be available on Google Podcasts. It doesn't have to be, but that's just the easiest one for me. You don't know why I'd ask here instead of in Discord? Because I wasn't thinking of it when I was on Discord, but I'm thinking of it now, you see. If I waited and tried to ask about it on Discord, I would forget about it. That's my my ADD brain, man. My ADD brain only thinks of things that are in front of my face at that very moment or on my mind at that very moment. And it kind of switches between different things randomly. So man, 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 man. <laughs> rude. Scrubby is a story time YouTuber that's turned some into podcasts. There's a there's a very story types. I definitely suggest the Karen saga. There's varied story types. You definitely suggest the Karen saga. Okay. I like it. Margaret, that you? I don't get it. I feel like there's probably something here that I'm missing. Many animations have been made from the podcast. Excellent. Ah, oh, that reminds me, actually. The Cox and Crendor podcast. I need to check that one out. Amazing word of mug gumball. I almost said mug ball. Same thing. I need to watch that one of these days, though. She literally only takes in memes. <laughs> How do you take in a me me me? Me me me. Talks? I know what you meant. You know I have to be a dick, though. I can't not be a dick. It's impossible. I don't know how. Think I'd get a kick out of some of this stuff? Are they, like, uh, long or short ones? For work, I don't really care. I'm down for either or. I've been thinking of maybe trying to catch up on Critical Role in podcast form. My only problem is, like... Oh, my God. Straight out of bounds again. My only problem with it is that, like, I'm really bad at actually taking in information um, when it's purely audio, you know, like that. Um, I need, I need, I need visual stuff. Like, I just, I can't, audio does nothing for me most of the time. Uh, L1, 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 let's go. That's in, that's in, let's go, dude. Just make sure your being a dick doesn't affect your dick. Uh, okay. Studio Ghibli's new game? Uh, yeah, I, what's it called? Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni, uh, there's one, there's two, and then now they're making, I think it's like an MMO or something like that. Uh, it's not actually Studio Ghibli's game, though, to be clear. They just do, like, some of the animation and stuff for, like, the, for the cutscenes. 
Um, but still fun. Pokemon. The, okay, Nino Kuni one and two. I don't know how exactly the MMO ish one works, but it's it's Pokemon like where you're running around collecting monsters that fight for you and stuff like that. But the combat style is completely different, completely different than than uh, Pokemon. But Nino Kuni is a lot of fun. I've never finished the game, but I've played uh, a fair bit of Nino Kuni the first one. I forget what it's called. I have three copies of it. Of I could just find one of them, but because <laughs> I have it for PS3, really PS4, and for uh, PC, <laughs> but <laughs> it's mobile. It's true Hess Rift. Uh, I think there was a typo there. Studio Seven or something. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. You might be right. It might be Studio Seven. I have no idea. Would suggest checking it out though if you're at all interested in. Um, Pokemon-esque games with really pretty animation. And from what I've played, a decent storyline. The game can be a bit slow at times, but uh, still, fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's been on my list for a long time of games that I want to complete, but... Hey, Noodle, that's awesome, dude. It was a multi-video story that he compiled all into one to start off. The first is the Karen neighbor calling the Gossam for living in his house and accusing him of squatting. How do you even, like, how do you get that into your head? That someone is squatting and not just living in their own home? Like, <laughs> why is your first assumption whenever you see someone just living their life? I bet they're living there illegally. Like, what? <laughs> Race? Was it a race thing? I have no idea. I don't know who these people are, so... <laughs> That's still ridiculous, though, even if that is the case. If anything, that just makes it worse. <laughs> like... Bruh. Keep that clock moving. Make sure you use as much time as you can while your offense has the ball. White woman sees a black or Hispanic man. It happens all the time. TM. I guess. Like, it probably does. Honestly, you're probably right. It's just ridiculous. I've seen stories like that of, you know, people um, walking through their own neighborhood and having the, the cops called on them because it's a mainly white neighborhood or whatever, and they're not. And, and you know, that's... People take offense to that for some reason. Like, I don't... I don't fucking understand people, dude. Honestly. I just don't get it. I've never once in my life just seen someone walking around like, dude, that dude could be a crackhead or something or look like a crackhead or something, you know? If I see him just walking around, like, I ain't about to call the cops on the bro. Like, that dude's just walking. I don't... Like... <laughs> What? Like, let him walk, man. Story on Reddit of a white woman calling the cops on kids, waiting for the bus. Why would you call cops on kids anyways? Like, unless they're actively breaking into a house or something. Like, they're fucking kids, dude. Let them live their lives. Holy shit. People are ridiculous. Number 28. In the backfield. Pull back hand off. Not at all. Both were the same race. I'm just trying to run down the clock. <laughs> I obviously had that one, but... Gotta run this time out, man. Let's go. What'd they just say? Watch the screen? Hey, watch the ball. You can keep yelling all you want, dude. I'm just gonna chill here. Can I, like, take a knee? Is that an option? That was a that was an option. On, oh, that was a timeout. No, I don't want to do that. That pauses the clock. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to figure out a way to freaking take a knee, man. I just wanted to keep the the clock going. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Whatever. We'll make the tam the, the tam the damn touchdown. They were African American kids waiting for the school bus. Ridiculous. 
ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. People need to just mind their own damn business. That's how I feel about it. Ain't got nothing. You hear that? Ain't got nothing. We turning it up. What are you turning up? We ain't doing shit. We're waiting until that clock hits one, and then we're passing the ball back and barely going to make a play. Two, and let's go. Just inch it forward. Inch it forward. There we go. Five yards away from the end zone. There really needs to just be like a end game. I'm just going to sit here and do nothing button. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, there's 14 seconds left on the clock and I can sit here for 30. Like, I think we won this one. Just end the damn game. Post a link in Discord for the YouTube vid. It's easier to watch than guess. It's literally the most entertaining, crazy Karen story you've heard that didn't involve like crazy violence and all. I love and hate Karen stories. 69. Nice. Um, <laughs> I love them because they're just so ridiculous, you know? But at the same time, they legitimately make me angry sometimes. Like, I, I read uh, stories online of, like, people that live in homeowners associations and stuff like that. And I literally just can't imagine some of the BS that, that people go through, you know? Like, and obviously, their stories online... And, um, like, so you never know if they're, they're actually true or not, but regardless, man, like I could never deal with it. Stupid stuff like not being allowed to have a trampoline in your yard or, or them not being happy with the color of your, your house or, um, you know, whatever, just any stupid thing they want to, right? Like I was reading one today about... A person checking with all their neighbors. This isn't exactly a HOA thing, but checking with all their neighbors because they they wanted to have a live band for their kid's birthday party. So all the neighbors said it was fine. They checked the local laws and things and all the ordinances and made sure that you know the bands kept it to a reasonable level and and all that BS. But like ten minutes after the cop or I'm sorry, ten minutes after the the bands start playing, the cops show up and um. You, like say hey you have to shut this down you can't do this and he's like uh according to what you know did someone complain because i checked the laws the laws say that you can only shut me down if someone complains plus we're following all the laws etc 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 they were like no no one complained there's just you just can't do this and it turned into this whole big thing and then the cop ended up calling in that uh he was being attacked by the guy or threatened to be attacked by the guy or whatever. So suddenly like nine squad cars, basically everyone that was on the clock at the time showed up and it just turned into this huge thing until the, the chief showed up and just happened to know the guy and was like, what the fuck are you doing? Either give him a ticket or leave. Like just <laughs> stupid, man. People are ridiculous. Power trip. If it makes it more interesting, it's a good ending. That's good. Oh God. Or even worse is when the HOAs are illegal and people don't realize it until they look it up. Ah, Dude, it would be wonderful to be that person that finds that out, though, and shuts the whole thing down. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that would be nice. Okay, so there's skill drills. That's just going to be, you know, practice mode, basically. But what was it? Was it features? No. Create a player, create a team, create a playbook, create a fan. That's all fun. Oh, uh, player weapons. That's the thing that confused the hell out of me. That reminds me of uh, something interesting I saw that speedrunners do on one of the uh, Tony Hawk games. I forget which one. But uh, you can create your own move list, right? But for whatever reason, you can assign one move to multiple button inputs. And the way the, the game is programmed, that if, like, they have you doing a whole list of moves, if two of the moves have the same exact name, it registers as both of them being done, even if you only do, you know, say, up and triangle or whatever, right? So what people would do is just name everything the exact same and their 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 move set and then all they have to do for those type of missions is just whatever the easiest move is like a kickflip or whatever and it triggers all of them to be done instantly i was just like that's that's smart man that's that's cool that's cool franchise mode that's neat fantasy challenge don't know what that is but that's cool nfl superstar hall of fame again don't know what the hell that is tournament mode mini games practice and play online well for some reason i don't think play online is going to work let's try out the the mini game real quick before we wrap up a madden nfl mini camp rushing attack two minute drill 
Yeah, see. Um, definitely a rookie. I feel like for someone like me, I feel like this isn't going to be that interesting because I'm just not that into sports ball. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I still appreciate the fact that they spent the time to add more substance to the game than than just, you know, play a game of football, maybe do a single tournament or whatever thrown in there. I still like whenever sports games have story modes where you're like uh, uh, playing a single player or maybe like a manager of a team or something. You got to make your way up through the ranks and shit like that. I like that sort of stuff in my sports games, but whatever. Uh, we're stuck. <laughs> oh shit, it's 11 already. You got to go. Get out of here. Go to bed. <laughs> now, have a good night, Ruth. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a bit, dude. So what is our goal here? Is it just to get as many points as possible before the clock runs out? Well, that didn't go one. Go well. It's one. It's one for us. Rue has a different uh, time zone than we do. Let's go. Ah, dude. How do we juke? I'm pretty sure it showed up in the beginning, but I wasn't paying that much attention. Ah, come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes. All the touchdowns, man. <laughs> in this little mini game mode. Like, see, when I think of mini game, I think of like, I don't know, little little puzzles or or something, not just running the ball down the field over and over again. That that feels more like something that would be a practice mode to me than than a mini game, you know. But eh, whatever. What do I know? Oh my god! I can't believe we just let him do that. Oh god! <laughs> oh well, we already lost. Literally, we already lost. <laughs> Okay, we can still get points for tackles and things. There we go. We just gotta we just gotta keep taking them down, man. Keep taking them down. Oh wait, no, the CPU still has more than we do. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Oh god. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> and then I just dived into nothing. Oh my god. G freaking G, man. What was that random noise? Did someone just... Did we just grunt or yell or something? What? <laughs> there it is again. I'm, like, pressing buttons on the right stick. Does the right stick... Oh! We're, like, we're, we're tackling. For some reason, the right stick makes you tackle. And first, it also makes a weird noise. I don't think pressing square does that. Oh, no, I guess it does. I kind of heard it off in the distance there. All right, well, get fucked. Uh, anyways, guys, it's been an hour, so we're going to take a break, and instead of messing around more with this game, because it's obviously going to take, like, an hour to get through a game or whatever, I think we're going to go ahead and swap on over to All-Star Baseball whenever we come back, and then if we have the time, maybe we'll do a third game, probably another sports game, just so it's something short. If not, then, I don't know, maybe we'll just call it early for the night. We'll figure that out then. Anyways, guys, we're going to head on over to the break screen. We'll be right back. Hydrate. You would think like running over them would absorb them too, but I, I still appreciate and the thank fact you for the that bits, it like, noodle. sucks them in. Like I do appreciate that though. What's the, uh, I see a little white thing on the ground here. Yeah. What are phosons? New text added. Notes. Phosons are a form of energy used as a source of magic by sorcerers, as well as elemental entities like fairies. However, do not forget that their beautiful shine is that of a creature's life, as phosons only appear when a living creature passes away. Okay. It's like the life essence of things that we're draining. 